global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Yes, all the elections and uh, have come and gone. Supplementary elections are concluded, and now we are about to begin the leg of fireworks. Many Nigerians believe that they may not get true justice uh, from the court, from the judiciary, but others are quite very hopeful that yes, uh, the judiciaries are uh, judges are also part of Nigeria. They are Nigerians, and they are seeing the hardship within the country, and they will do justice to the whole matter. But as it is right now, Labour Party chieftains and many concerned Nigerians are beginning to react over the actions taken by Ariola, the CGN of, uh, uh, of uh, Nigeria. And many of them believe that there's something not right about it. No one is going to find out what it is and much more and the technicalities involved. My brother, this whole thing is also affecting all of us here in this country. Before we go to the news proper, can you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right subscribe button beside it to say bell notification icon. Go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you come update our channel on youtube let's hit the ground running according to the news uh, as nigeria's brace up for the commencement of the legal battle set to ensure ensure between uh, to ensue between peter greg Ruby and the president elect aswajibola ahmed tunubu over the outcome of the february 25th presidential election a permanent chieftain of the labor party balogun akin Aki Oshutukun has come out to slam the Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN, Olukayo de Ariwola, over the recently constituted panel of judges that would preside over the elections tribunal. While speaking during an interview, uh, 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 Oshutukun, who is the Director General of the Obidati Presidential Campaign Council, expressed dissatisfaction at the decision taken by Ariwala to put the panel together after the presidential election had been concluded and the purported winner declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. According to a Labour Party chieftain, the panel of judges ought to have been constituted before the February 25th election as a way of ensuring transparency and non-partisanship he said and i quote him word for word i read recently that the panel that will hear the presidential petition has just been constituted that in itself is a sad commentary on the supreme court and the chief justice who's, who constituted the panel shouldn't the chief, chief justice have known that cases like this are going to end up on their lapses he ought to have constituted an election panel even before the election is over in anticipation of what could happen. But no, we have a penchant for leaving work should have been done now for later. So isn't this a logical expectation for what is to come? Why would the chief judge or anybody who is expected to con constitute the panel wait until now? He should have done it before the election. Actions like these only further buttress the trust, the trust deficit between Nigerians and the judiciary and deepens the culture of suspicion that people have against the institution. Who Nigerians are complaining. Many reactions have bosom. The question is, uh, let's leave sentiment now. She, is he correct? I think he is, if you ask me personally. Because um, for a long time now, in fact, for a very long time, uh, Nigerians have really never gone to the polls and decided their president just from the polls. That's always been, you conclude it eventually in the court. Tribunal to eventually to get to Supreme. In 2019, it was the same. In 2015, it was the same. And I think in subsequent ones it was 15 11 they're about it was the same it has always been that way somehow somebody was always here to travel now not being comfortable with the result so i thought by now i roll although he's he's just said uh, uh, you know taking over from tanko uh but he should know that that has been the tradition that's been the norm in nigeria and uh, like he rightly said for Transparency say because right now a lot of Nigerians believe that uh, they probably will pick judges that feel that they feel will be favorable. But if they have been constituted before the election proper, at least Nigerians will know who the judges are 
per time and it probably may be free fair because you don't even know how the elections will go may go south may go north so they would have probably made it you know open and plain but let's see how it fares out because the truth is uh the last hope of the common man in nigeria is actually judiciary most nigerians believe that the nigerians they should know what is best for them as as a people and also as a nation but let's feel the pause of nigerians nigerians are really talking this one here says i just I have just seen one and so surprising for the first time. I don't understand what he's trying to write. And that person has, says uh, they believe that unless everything comes from them before it to be acceptable. I don't understand that too. And that person has said this CGN. I don't know what he's looking out for. Looking at him for someone who sat on the wheelchair and left the country. Uh, and when he was caught, he quickly returned to the country. He should not be trusted. Uh, but I thought he has. They've actually explained that what happened that time, according to the the spokesperson. I think of the Supreme Court Judiciary said that um, uh, Ariwola was not feeling well. All right, he was not feeling well, and he went for treatment. And subsequently, he came back, and he was seen. I think he was seen at the mosque or so praying. I think that matter has been settled. And that person here says. Um, no amount of this can ever happen. Whatever whatever will happen will be. Let's just wait for the judiciary. Mm. And the person says, people fought anything and are already setting the ground to criticize the judiciary. If the case is not in their favor, from precedence, when the election tribunal always constituted before or after elections, if it was not wrong then or no one complained before, why the new narrative? Because it will be an LP is involved. You know, the truth is, people just wanted a situation where they are sure that credible people are involved. But, well, let's hope. The truth of the matter is, posterity will judge us, all of us, one way or the other, uh, whatever game or whatever uh, role we play in making either a new Nigeria possible or sinking the country as a whole. This one here says, um, This is just the crime of a loser. If the system does does this, you don't trust it. If this is, if it does that, you don't still trust it. Then why are you contesting system? Uh, you do not trust. Uh, that's why the truth is let me truth to ourselves. The <laughs> level of corruption in this country is mind blowing. <laughs> it is too much. Sometimes you just wonder is this how the other parts of the country, other parts of the world is? Of course not. And that's why I see every day Nigerians are jackpotting, quote and unquote. So you wouldn't blame them. They want something where things are working well, at least security, basic amenities like good road, pipe and water, uh, electricity. Things that are so normal in other countries should also be normal in this country. Train that are functional, security perfect, you know. And I don't think it's too much to ask. And that's why you see Nigerians are beginning to doubt the efficacy of the system. It's normal, eh? Except you've never lived in Nigeria. That's why you, you, that's why you will not question this. And that person is a continue crying. You, you can cry till eternity. I don't know what you people are thinking. All right, many Nigerians are just saying their minds. I guess that's going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our comment section. What's your take? Have